Hey guys, welcome to my Wednesday live. Uh, so I have moved my lives uh, from six o'clock at night to 10 o'clock in the morning. If you attended my Monday night live, you will know that we started a guitar, um, found out it was not vintage or worth very much money at all. Um, when I picked it while I was out thrifting, I, my vision for it was to flip it. So I did get a bit nervous <laughs> once I strummed uh, the actual guitar strings because it sounded pretty good, or I thought so. And uh, long story short, many of the viewers that were watching on Monday said it was not worth very much. So then the thrift or the flipping started. So let me go ahead and make sure it looks like I'm on all the platforms. So as you guys are jumping on, definitely say hello and let me know where you're from and let me pull up the comments and see who is joining me. Uh, looks like Stephanie's on, hello. Um, all right, so she says, ooh, I can't wait for the transfers. I'm painting a chair right now and I'm going to be putting some of the brocante and the ephem ephemera transfers on the back, reupholstering with drop cloth. I love it. So yes, um, so what we're gonna do today is I am going to bring up, okay. So what we did so far is we used to paint the front and the back, and I did two coats of paint on both of those, on the front and back. And I used Americana. It is the new DIY cottage colors, the one step, and it's the new color. So there are three new colors. There's Americana, Crockery, and Blue Hills. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, there were already five colors that were released probably like six to eight months prior. So I know that Debbie and Jamie Ray Vintage uh, keep collaborating together to create additional colors to add to the line of paint. So I did that. The second thing I did was on the sides, I painted the sides with DIY's White Swan. And then my vision for the guitar is I found this old hymnal and it's there are some pages that are written on which i will not use those but i want to take these pages and i want to put the pages around the sides so we're going to decoupage those on and that's what we're going to start doing so far today then once that dries we are going to top it off with the new transfer uh, from iod called Nobody has told me, is it Ellie, Elysium or Elysium? So it is absolutely gorgeous. I love this transfer. So we are going to incorporate this transfer then. Um, I want to put it here, have it come down, cover the sides. We'll be putting it on the back as well. And with the transfers, I don't know if you guys can see. So there are some of the... Uh, Le Courier stamp kind of back behind it. And I thought about on the back side, because there's a lot of room to incorporate some of the Le Courier stamp as well. So that is what we're doing so far. So let's take a peek to see who's all with us. All right, we have Connie from Knoxville, Tennessee. Something says, yep, we see from going to be 108 Saturday in California. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. Uh, Penny's on from the UK. I'm washing up. Will's watching you. Please, you are doing a live. Oh, so please, you're doing a live. Thank you, Penny, for watching. Nancy's from Phoenix. Uh, I am still trying to find a cheap guitar. I have here. I'll let you guys see it. I have two violins. I may try the smaller one. Got them both uh, 30 buckaroos off Marketplace. Nice. So, all right. Uh, let's see. 
So um, just joining, what color is this? This is called uh, Americana and it is from DIY's Cottage Colors. So all the products that I'm using today, you guys can find on my website uh, at www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com. And they are all available if you want to use or um, do something similar. Hello, D. Uh, let's see here. Uh, looks like South Carolina here. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, another viewer, she just saw, found a guitar on the curb earlier this week. That's great. I love curbside finds. Yeah. Um, we have somebody from Louisiana and, oh, I have that color. Awesome. So yes, I, all right, let's see here. looks like we're good. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first, my initial thought was I have this little piece on the bottom and actually I missed a little bit of white there, but I, what I'm thinking is maybe starting here and then working my way up. What do you guys think? I'm just going to start pulling these out. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of just stack them. And if they're overlapping a little bit, that's okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tops off and the bottom so that we just have it all... I wonder if I should be ripping these, but it's fine. It's fine. I, it's fine. It's fine. I say. All right. Okay. Maybe. Let's see. How are we gonna do this? I should have probably started maybe one with by myself, but. Here, I'm going to put um, that there. Do this. And see. All right, let's see here. I just want to make sure that. Okay, I'm like, what is this held up on? It is held up on that. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to put this here to kind of hold it. What do I need? I need something else to hold it here. I'm going to grab another can of paint here. There. All right. So what I'm going to do is I think I am just going to start on one side and work my way around. And... Then we're going to take that sandpaper just like I do, and I'm going to sand off the excess as well. Okay, so what I'm using for my medium is the DIY's Liquid Patina. I love it for the decoupage paper, but uh, this is not decoupage. This is just old old uh, hymnal music. So we'll see how it works with this. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I have to go to the store. So you are going to do the music on the side, then the transfers on top. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm lining it up here. Okay, guys. Probably should have prepped. I should have started it is what I should have did. Uh, but it's good that you are seeing that I struggled too. All right. We're going to do a starter strip just like I do with all the decoupage paper. I am going to just try this and we're going to see if this is going to work for the music paper here. So I when I say a starter strip, what I like to do is just do a nice even layer of my decoupage medium just to get it started. And that way, 
what I am doing is I'm going to lay down just the, the start of the paper. So I am not going to... Oops, sorry guys. Um, by doing this, it really helps eliminate the wrinkles and it helps with easier control over your decoupage paper. Again, this is not decoupage paper. This is hymnal music, <laughs> but you guys get what I'm trying to say. And then I'm going to pull this back and I am just going to keep on All right, bear with me. I'm gonna read the comments as soon as I get my first piece down. Okay, and I'm just smoothing this all out. And what I like to do is go to the edge and get Sure, I have it all the way to the edge. Do that to both sides. And then smooth out any of those wrinkles with. Okay, so we got the first piece down. What I'm going to do then with the excess here is I am going to um, sand it off with a piece of sandpaper once this dries. Okay, let's check out the comments and we'll go ahead and do the second piece. Oh, hey, Amber, long time no see. Uh, uh, looks like I use bean packets and pool noodles filled with rocks to hold stuff that rocks around. Even rice packs work too. Great suggestion. I'll think of that definitely in the future. <laughs> uh, grab some towels. Oh, I could. It's fine, I think, right now how I have it. Um, uh, let's see. Rice is a good idea. Haven't thought of that. My first attempt at decoupage was a napkin. It didn't go well at all. I haven't tried since. I need to try it again with something a tad thicker. Napkins can definitely work, but like I, how I did it, um, where I started on one side and I worked my way, that is definitely key, you guys. All right. So I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to cut off again the top and the bottom. Hey, Marianne. She says, hi, I did a, here, I'll let you guys read it. I did a dungaree dung dungarees jacket with Mod Podge and I put a, a coat over the inlay. I read to do that. I'm not sure if you did let you know in 72 hours, what happens when I wash it? Yeah. Let us know how yours worked. Um, I didn't have the best results, but I am going to get that fabric medium that everyone is talking about because I'm going to redo the jacket. So we're going to try that again. I'm, I like to test things out and be completely transparent and honest with you guys. So, all right. So I'm kind of sad that it didn't work. I'm going to pull this up just a hair. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It moved down, but that's fine. Oh, I'm going to pick it up. All right. I just want full coverage on both sides. So let's do this over. All right. I feel kind of out of sorts, you guys. I just was over at my booth at the Yield Goat. Um, two gals that are in my membership group, um, one was traveling from out of town. She was from, she's from Pennsylvania. She stopped at my booth over at Water Street Vintage yesterday. 
and she told me that she was stopping over at my yield goat booth and she'd love to to meet up and so i had a little bit of time before my live uh so i actually uh met up with them and i was super excited so so nice to uh Put, uh, well, I always see her on my Zoom calls, but it's just nice to to meet them. I uh, they're in my membership groups, and they're they've all become really good friends. With that's how I feel. All right, so we got that. How's it looking, you guys? Think? Let's see here. Love the rice papers. Love the rice paper decoupage. Oh, okay. Hello, I was watching a video on the antique acres with the mask. You accidentally put in your cart. I am curious to know, did that, did the perfect buyer find it? Not at antique acres. I thought <laughs> it was a bit of a long shot at antique acres just because it's kind of vintagey and all that, but no, not at antique acres. It is in one of my booths, so we'll see if it sells. Um, oh, hey, Treasure! Uh, so glad you got a uh, chance to connect with her. I was hoping you would be able to. Yes, it was so fun. I wish I had more time. I am like, I felt very rushed. Um, and I don't like feeling like that, but I had this already scheduled and... I showed her my booth and we walked around and chatted. Super exciting. All right. So then I'm going to just lay the next piece on. All right. We're just going to work our way around. One thing I did not take into consideration, I'm actually going to move this over a hair, was the dry time for this. So hopefully I'm going to take my heat gun and hopefully help speed up the process a bit. So I'm sorry about the swaying of the guitar back and forth, but you just sometimes have to improvise. And if I would have been thinking, I would have had like towels or something. So it's fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right. Uh, Sandy says, awesome. Was putting that on a bucket list for summer to get to Wisconsin to meet you and see your stores. Yes. I, if um, I, any of my viewers reach out to me and let me know that they're in town, I try to, if I can, if I'm in town and available, I always try to meet up with them. So, okay. So we got this portion done. I'm going to work my way here. All right, we're just going to work our way down. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. If you guys are in Wisconsin and at my booths at one of them or which whatever one, let me know, let me know. Okay, let's see here. Some of these have writing on them. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? All right, hold on one sec here. Should we try to stay somewhat organized? All right. So did you guys see my reel out there? Um, I did a reel yesterday. I posted it out there and it was about the eight ounce challenge. So Debbie Beard gave us all an eight ounce challenge to see what we all could do with eight ounces 
of DIY paint. If you guys don't know, this is eight ounce. Oh, where am I? Okay, hold on here. <laughs> this is an eight ounce jar of the DIY paint. And um, so she challenged a bunch of her retailers, like, what can you do with eight ounces? And uh, so she said, how much can you paint or what can you cover with eight ounces of the paint? So I thought I could definitely do four chairs. So I started the challenge and you guys are going to have to see how many do you or how many of you think that I can cover four chairs with eight ounces of DIY paint? Oh, thanks, Kathy. Kathy said she loves the tour I did at the GOAT. Thank you. I was a little nervous. I, you know, I've never, um, just because it was somebody else's live that I was stepping in for, I just wanted to, to do them justice. And uh, I had a lot of fun over at the GOAT. So I just told them I would step in again if they needed it. Vicki says, we are thinking about doing a road trip in August. I want to be part of a vendor show in Menominee Falls. Hit the state, hit the state full, far and depending on how close, go see your booze. Awesome. I'd love to let me know if you do come. That would be awesome. All right, so we got this portion of it down. Okay. Oh, Kathy says they are going to want you to do that again and again. Oh, well, that would be kind of fun. I could be a regular on their show, right? It was a ton of fun. So, okay. So this is where that knob is. I know you guys can't see it. I don't think I'm going to be able to um, put it. Uh, how far apart are they from Menominee Falls? I would have to Google that. Um, Trying to think we're okay, so we are going to a music festival this weekend, and I I'm trying to think if it's Menominee Falls that we're staying in. So okay, this is I'm trying to be innovative here. I'm gonna try to cut a circle out. We'll see how this works, right? Um, pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna, I don't know. I think it's actually really good for now. And I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna blend some paint down there to make it. I'm gonna paint this all, I think. Instead of having it be silver, I'm gonna paint something else. Paint it a different color. All right. Ooh, their Lavender Fest is this weekend. Awesome. Hey, Corrine. Were there conditions to using the paint? I know about YouTubers that use a spray gun and add some water. Were there conditions? Um, so Cindy asked, were there, can, or maybe like, are there conditions to using the paint? Um, she said, I know other YouTubers that use a spray gun and add some water. So I have um read about um other stockists or youtubers using um the diy paint and putting it in a spray gun um trying to think oh boy we're gonna just leave it like that for now so you guys can kind of see um i'm trying to think off the top of my head which ones uh, but they said it's just like, yes, you can just add a little bit of water to it and um, thin it out. I'm trying to, 
I really am trying to think of one that does it. I, I'm wonder, I think maybe even Jamie Ray and Zeb, they might do it. Use it. Um, a spray gun. like Because I think they use a, he uses a spray paint, a spray gun or a paint gun quite a bit. I bought one and I have yet to use it. I think my brother used to work in a paint shop. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to have him come over and kind of teach us all how to use it. Because, like I said, I bought it and I never, never used it. So I'm like, what a waste. All right. Okay. All right. So we got that far. How do you guys like it so far? Let's see here. Uh, okay, Nancy says Jamie Ray does. So yeah, definitely look at Jamie Ray's. I'm sure she has. I, I think actually, now that you say that, I thought it was her. Um, I think they did a, he did a video on it, if I remember correctly. Oh, Joan says, hello, Sonnet. I almost forgot about your live. Shame on me. That's okay. We are here. Um, so far we got halfway done. Um, I'm going to try to, I'm going to put this in a Ziploc here, cover this up. I'm going to try to make this work, dry, work, dry faster. I don't know if, we'll see if we can get this to dry faster. Kathy says, me too. I'm intimidated by the sprayer. I have one that I haven't opened yet. Okay, so I actually opened it and I looked at it and then I got nervous and I talked to my brother and then he's like, I can show you how to use it. And I'm like, yes, please. And then he doesn't live in this area. Like he lives near me, but it's like an hour away. So I think I would be very awesome to do like a video on it. All right. Oh, Vicky said there's a ton of recent videos with them spraying. I bet you he talks about the mixture. Um, they definitely, I'm sure that they do. All right. um, Cindy, I don't know what, what conditions. Um, so I don't know. I guess I would refer, like I said, refer to Jamie Ray's videos. Okay, so this is drying pretty good. I'm already loving it, guys. Like, here, if you can kind of see what the look of it that I'm going for. Kathy says, yes, it's quick and you can spray a lot. Please do it, Sonic. Okay, I'll try. I will try. Oh, you guys, I think this looks super cool. All right, let me, it's still tappy. So here's what I did on the bottom. Can you see, it? yeah, right here, I'll just, I, there's a little bit of an excess hole here. So I think I'm going to take um, just another, like, I'm thinking maybe like, uh, faded burlap might be this color and then put a little bit in there and then I'm going to paint this um, maybe black. <gasps> oh my god. Okay guys, um, now you're back. For the contest, if you add water, it will go further. For the contest... For the contest. Okay. Sorry, guys. The screen went black for one second. I apologize. Um, so I did put it into airplane. Somebody said, do airplane mode, um, which I did. But guess what? When I put it into airplane mode, it turned off my Wi-Fi. So that is not the solution. I'm going to have to come up with a different solution. All right. So I'm getting it's looking great. Thank you, thank you. 
I'm hoping that it's, um, I'm hoping the edges tear or break away just as nice as the decoupage paper of Royce's. So <laughs> uh, we will see, won't we? All right, so that's looking, um, much of it is looking dry. Okay, um, Karen asked, have you tried the do not disturb feature? No, I haven't. Is it, I'm assuming it's probably in my settings, huh? Okay. I'm hoping that it's dry enough that I can set it down without injuring it. Oh, I scraped it now. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Got it. All right. So we're just going to continue on then over here. And, um, but I have not tried the do not disturb feature. I will definitely have to look into that. I'll have to Google it. Google tells me everything, you guys. I always say, what did I do before Google? <laughs> I do not know. I do not know. Okay. So I'm wondering if I should start here and then work my way back here. I think that's what I'm going to do. What a perfect piece for the music sheets or music pages. Yes, I agree. I think so too. Oh, I'm going to have to move it over this way a little bit further though, guys. So you guys can see. All right. Okay. So you see, I did scrape it a little bit. I'm just going to roll with it had not sealed the paper or sealed the paint. So unfortunately when I put it on there, it did scrape a bit. Um, where, okay, let me, so what I'm gonna do, because you're gonna see both sides, I kind of want the music to be where they can read it. Um, so I'm starting that way. Why are there two pictures in this video? Um, because you can see me in one. And then you can see that. Do you not like that, Maria? Um, I was doing that just, uh, it was a new, like a feature that I had just discovered. That's, um, but yeah, that's why there's two pictures. So you can see me and you can see the actual um, piece that I am working on. Oh my gosh, Vicki said, okay, I have to post this on here, you guys. This is funny. So Vicki says, that's funny. My coffee cup says today, I don't need Google. My husband knows everything. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, okay, I can get rid of it. Let's see. There you go. I'm, I'm done. I'm out of there. All right. I was just kind of doing, testing things out. I've only just started doing the lives with this new program that I've been using. So whatever works. <clears throat> so again, we're starting with a little bit of a starter strip and we are just going to work our way, putting a little bit of the starter strip down and then work our way around. And hopefully, hopefully I didn't hurt my paper on this side. Oh, that's right, I wanted to have it more like that, because when I, I want the music sheets to show all the way around. Okay, I did ding this up a bit right here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm going to just set it down, guys, so that I don't hurt it. All right. 
I don't. Okay. So you guys are over on the other. You're over a little bit. So your comments. But I will get to you in a second to see what everybody's chatting about. I think I need a personal assistant to help me with my lives now. Um, no, that's okay, Maria. It, I mean, honestly, either or. However, whatever works for you guys. You guys are the viewers, and if you want to see the bigger project, I totally get it. All right, so got that one sheet down. And now I'm going to grab another chunk. And then cut that. Oh, um, Karen. So Karen says, I like to see the creators. Maybe you can ask Royce how she has her photo inside her or her photo inside her photo and it doesn't make the project smaller. I think she uses a different um tool uh to stream like to stream her um platforms so i think that's what it is um so i think it would have to be where then i would have to use something totally different so i think if that's what it is Okay. Do you have a towel or even a paper towel? Oh, I have paper towel. <laughs> I have paper towel. Okay, I wonder what I could do with paper towel here. Maybe I, oh, maybe I could put paper towel under there. That was a good idea. That's a good idea. Perfect. Whoever came up with a paper towel? I have to go back and... Who said paper towel? Somebody said paper towel. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which I was like, okay, I'm going through, I'm going through. Uh, oh, here, Tony, do you have a paper towel or, or yeah, Tony did. Thank you, Tony. Great idea. Great suggestion. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. So again, I'm doing a little bit of a starter strip. I just want to kind of lay it out so that I get, I want the whole thing on there. So if you were doing this on your own and you're not doing a live like I am and want to get this finished right away, um, what I would suggest is letting that other side dry, then flipping it over and doing this side. Um, I feel like again, you know, I'm just trying to get as much done on the live today so that we can start working with the, um, I almost said the decoupage, the transfers. All right, let's see here. Oh my gosh, Stephanie said, before Google was around, I was my family's Google. That's awesome. All right. So what are you guys all thinking so far? I'm really liking it. I, what am I seeing? Oh, my, oh, here, I thought I was seeing something, but I think it's decoupage medium. I looked at the camera and I'm like, I, I think I see a wrinkle. I try to, if there is a wrinkle, you guys, I just try to embrace it. I try to get rid of as many wrinkles as possible. But sometimes you guys are going to just get a wrinkle possibly. So it can't ever be just perfect. All right, let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to lay down the next one here. Just work out 
like I said, I always just put a little bit more of the liquid patina on my brush, work it all out, pull it back. When you're working with smaller pieces like this, it's much, um, you can, you know, even lay more decoupage medium. It's, and this, I think, is a little bit more forgiving than the, um, the decoupage paper because it's made out of like a tissue type of paper that sometimes when it gets wet, when you try to pull it back and then lay it back down, uh, sometimes things can rip. Oh, just some issues. Okay, I think maybe, are we gonna just be able to get, fingers crossed, one more, possibly only one more. Let's see here, I want one with all, oh, it's not that one. Okay, this one looks good. All right, let's see here. Ooh, one more guys, I think, one more. Where did I put my scissors here? All right, let me cut the top and the bottom off. Okay, is it gonna, oh shoot. Well, it's gonna be a close one. Let's just put it that way. We're gonna have to really finagle. <laughs> I'm gonna do all of it right now. And we're gonna just try to finagle it and make it work so we can just have it all fit with one. All right. Okay, let's do it right on the edge there. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it to work. Okay, so let's see here. Kathy says, I'm really loving it. Can't wait to see it finished. I know. I was hoping we'd get more done to it today. It might have to go into Monday, but I have all right. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we have the sides done. I'm just going to bring me back up for a minute. So, all right. Um, so what we've done so far is we have taken that old, oh my goodness, I'm trying to put my thing back in the baggie so that it doesn't dry out. Um, I do wash my brushes, all of you guys. It just, I like to do that so that I can keep on working. All right, we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna just, dry it here and we're going to see how, how it looks. Okay. All right. Karen says, I am for sure going to try this. I know it looks, I think it's so cool. So, um, I honestly, you guys, when, uh, ever I'm out thrifting, I am looking for like old, um, music sheets, uh, hymnals, uh, to use in, um, you know, like the background of my projects. And this one was perfect. The book was all falling apart. You can see, and I loved how the pages, well, I don't know now you guys, there's a glare. There is a glare. But the pages look all old and vintage. Well, you could see them on the um, on here. But yes, it's it's awesome. Oh my gosh! So uh, now that I'm looking, I did put one piece upside down. That's okay. That is okay, right? All right. Let me click on that so you guys can see. So this is what it kind of looks like. It's awfully big and bulky, but I am going to try to let you see, like so you can get a, an idea or vision. We're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna sand the rest of the excess off. 
Um, while I'm doing that, Lindy says, hi, Sonnet. Just after you left Water Street, aww, a nice young lady came in for some recycle paper. She was from Pennsylvania and stopped on her way through to Minnesota. So wish you were still there to meet her. That is quite a trip for supplies. Yes, it is. And that is who I met over at, um, uh, she actually stopped at the Yield Goat booth as well. And I stopped in and I was able to meet her, meet up with her there. That's awesome. I know um, I had heard that she had been there and I was like, oh. It even said I was just there. Um, okay, so let's see here. Stephanie said, if you find music sheets that are too white, you can coffee stain them. That's a great idea too. I like it. I like it. I like it. I know. I, I wish this would dry a little bit faster, guys. All right. Did I miss any comments? I don't think so. Let's see. This is tacky here. Let me finish down here. All right. I just want to make sure the edges, even if the edges come up a little bit, I can redo it. This is still a little bit, see it when I had it on that little thing, it kind of tore the sheet. I mean, it did a little bit, but you can't really tell that much, but it's okay. I am going to let this, I'm going to put it on. Oh my gosh, I almost started my paper towel on fire, guys. That would not have been good. Just don't want it to I want it to dry here. Okay. There, got it. Okay. Let's go back to the big screen. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am on the struggle bus. Okay. Let's see here. Um uh hello everyone. I'm late to the party. That's okay. That's okay. Um Okay, so Wendy has a suggestion that I should dampen the edges a bit before I start sanding. That's a really good um, suggestion. I'll definitely do that. So I think because I definitely want this part to be dry completely, I didn't realize that we weren't going to be able to do the transfers yet. I probably should have had a majority of this done. But I like showing you on the live what I'm doing so that you guys can feel comfortable to do it yourself as well. Um, so what we've done so far is we got the sides done, the top done, and the bottom. And then really, I think on Monday, it's going to be really a lot of fun just completely decorating it. And that will be back at 6 o'clock. So Monday at 6, I will create the event. We will wrap that up. Um, Let's see here. Late Night Creation says, I'm in a public lobby and forgot my earbuds. So just watching. Okay. That's good. People would probably be like, oh my gosh, who is that lady? Um, Karen said, I never find hymn books. I bought one online. So I copy my pages and tea stain or ink the pages. Oh, that's a really good idea too. Like you can just photocopy them and then um, that's a really great idea. I have been on the hunt. Um, I did find this other book. Um, it was more of like a kid's, uh, I, I wouldn't say like a hymnal book. It's like some type of music book or music pages. It was super cute, the cover. And then I thought I better Google this to make sure it's not valuable before I rip it to, you know, rip it off. And it turned out that they were going, it was not a ton of money, but definitely I could have made, I can make more selling the book as is than probably putting, tearing it up. So um, long story short, I 
I have yet to do anything with it. It's it's sitting in my pile of, I think it might be worth money and I better do something with it. Like either put it in my booth um, or maybe on my online store. So uh, I have to get working on that. Uh, Penny says, thank you so much for doing the live. Yes, absolutely. Um, so yes, we'll be back Monday at six o'clock. We definitely got a lot done. Um, and I like catching up with you guys and chatting while we're working on these projects. So, um, but yes, all like, I don't have him, no music on my website, but everything else you can find out there. And, uh, they, all the new cottage colors are so fun. So, um, I do have some exciting news later on. Well, is it tomorrow? I have to remember what day it is. Yes, tomorrow there's going to be exciting news, guys. So be watching my Facebook page. Um, I'll be posting um, something really awesome. So especially all of you that are getting ready for fall and Christmas. Uh, so definitely be watching for that. All right. Cary Grant, my favorite actor. Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. Try and work out what time that will be up time. Um, let's see here. I don't know what these last two comments are. I mean, okay. Penny says, try and work out what time that will be up time. I don't know what that means. And then Nancy said, Carrie Grant is her favorite actor. Awesome. Um, and then Stephanie says, thank you. Bye for now, everyone. Bye-bye. Um, all right, guys. So we will see you then on Monday at six. Um, Friday, I'm releasing a video and tomorrow I have some exciting news. So lots going on on my channel. Uh, we will see you guys Monday uh, during my live. Bye.